I'm Bradley Trainer, And I'm Don McClain. And this is Blinded by the Item. Blind items are celebrity gossip with the names left out. Together we'll play detective to figure out what the item is telling us about our favorite celebrity. You know, taking all your teeth out and replacing <gasps> them with dentures that are oh. made of um, aluminum, probably not a good idea. Is it aluminum? I not aluminum. What is titanium? it? Titanium. I, I feel like aluminum would just like. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, this You'd is crush not those a trying good to eat idea. An apple. So, now, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Kanye. <sighs> My dentist have, has always said, like, you better take care of your teeth because you know they're the only ones you have. They're the only ones you have, and please, you know. And I'm like, yes, of course. And he's like, you do a great job. You got to keep this going. People that have perfectly good teeth shouldn't be pulling all of them out f- on a whim. Yeah, I, which made me wonder, like, okay, either there's some there's something going on, right, with Kanye, or, like, there's something going on. No, there was something else I was going to say. Like, the only other option is maybe he just has really bad teeth and was going to have to get them all taken out anyway. So he's like, well, I might as well just make a statement out of it. The only- he looks like that guy from the James Bond bad guy. Which, yeah, Jaws. Is that what right? his name was? I think his name was yes. Josh. Josh, yeah. yep. Uh, so this is a bad idea. We don't really have to tell you that. But maybe my only hope is that he got some regular dentures that's like, <laughs> these look like regular teeth, yeah. so that he doesn't scare his children. Yeah. that th- It is really disconcerting. Also... If you didn't need to get dentures, why ever would you? That's like something that like they made Hollywood stars do back in the day, and right? Get this. His dentist, I read a little blurb from what he said, and whether or not this is a source says or if it's true because it was coming from the Daily Mail. Yeah. But this dentist said, wow, I'm just so, I'm always so amazed at how he can create art. Like his teeth are art. I don't. It's an art piece. It's a living art. Just get piece. a grill like Madonna. Yeah, what that you can come take on. out. I mean, everybody knows to do that, but a, apparently he wants to look scarier than he already his personality is. I just yeah, it didn't it didn't make much it's sense. It's troubling. To me. Yeah. I, mm, if yeah. you need, and plus I would get implants instead of dentures because implants are forever and they're mm-hmm. like your real teeth, so you still feel like you've got your chompers yeah there's so many options especially if you're that privileged you could you know you could you know put some what are they called flappers yeah but that's like that's like those things that patchy girls wear yeah sure i'm just saying there's all kinds of flippers flippers flappers (laughs) flappers Flappers were from the 1920s that's true (laughs) Anyway, that's the one thing that stood out to me today is that we got to talk about this on the podcast. All right. Well, check. Check mark. Let's get into some blind items. items. Let's do it. We'll uh, start. And again, we're still chatting a little bit about the Emmys. Of course, that was just a few nights ago. So still plenty of blind items rolling out about that particular award show. Let's get it going here with this one. This A-list actor refused to pose for photos with the rest of the cast of his hit show. Wow, he sure is pretentious. Oh, no. This is not Jeremy Allen White. It is not oh, Jeremy Allen White. Because I don't buy it. That mm. I was going to get real angry at the blinds. <laughs> okay, it's what not other. Like, is it somebody from Succession? Nope. Okay. Is it from Killers of the Flower Moon? Nope. Oh. Is and this it is TV from show? the Emmys. So oh, no. Emmys, sorry. Yes, okay. Emmys. Emmys. I'm just trying to think Emmy of. Emmy Lou Harris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Okay, I'm just thinking of other nominated shows mm-hmm. out there, and this is a male. It is a male, okay. yes. I'll read it here again. Uh, this A-list actor refused to pose for photos with the rest of his ca- with the rest of the cast of his show. Wow, oh. he is pretentious. His show. Is this Bill Hader for it, Barry? Nope. Okay. Darn it. Did not they win an so. Emmy? Um, I do not believe this show won an Emmy. Okay. But I will say there's a reason why this individual might feel better than um, Did he in leave his the show mind, or perhaps. Oh, in, oh, his, in mind. his mind. That's usually J Lo. No, oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> in her mind. Hmm. I would say in his mind. We've and uh, this isn't the first time we've heard that he might. Uh... Ooh, Kevin Costner. Nope, but that's okay. a very good guess. Hmm. Not nearly as high. In fact, they say a list on here. Uh, B plus A minus list. Are we talking about a streaming hit? 
It is a streaming hit, yes. Is he considered the lead of this streaming hit? No. Mm. It's not like John Hamm. No. He's not considered the lead, but you would say he is the biggest star. Oh. Oh, okay. He is the biggest star on the show. Nathan Fielder? Who's okay. that? Uh, he was in, I mean, he's like a prankster guy, but he does a bunch of weird stuff. Like Emma Stone was in The Curse mm. with him. Um. Okay. A minus B plus list actor refused to pose for photos with the streamer. rest of his cast for this hit show. Wow, he's pretentious. And again, oh, it's uh, not Pedro. Nope. Oh, God. Is it someone from White Lotus? Nope. Oh darn. Again, he in his mind, you could see, you could follow the the line that he is, um, like you said, maybe feels he's better than some of the other people in the show. I'm better than you, Harrison Ford. Reason shrinking. Nope. No. Reason being is he's uh, he he at least has a letter in front of his name. All the other people in the show probably don't even have a letter in front of their name. Oh, James Marston, jury duty. Yep. This is now the second blind that oh, has made us think on. negatively about the beautiful James Marston. I don't yeah. like this. I don't either. Second but fill blind in we it. got. Yes. Hey, usually where there's smoke, there's fire. That's and true. This is the second That's time true. we've seen it. Uh, we found out uh, last week that James Marston might think very highly of himself, but according to this blind item, uh, James Marston refused to. F- uh, take uh, pictures and uh, pose with other members of the cast of Jury Duty. Wow, he is pretentious. And again, uh, the rest of the cast of Jury Duty were uh, much smaller actors, you know, not oh, known yeah. by any stretch actors. Yeah, and then, yeah. of course, the guy that they were uh, uh, doing the whole show around. Oh, boy. This so. is disappointing because in Jury Duty, he kind of plays a jerk, you know, like the jerk <laughs> version of James Marsden or a, a really... A, sort of unaware you know i don't know he like really arrogant so it's like the role he played but you're hoping that he isn't got it you know the comments are all like so basically he played himself in the show because which makes me wonder how because the other thing i always think of is let's 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 break this down Mm -hmm. the blind item is suggesting that he wouldn't take pictures with his cast or with the cast or something which, how would you hear that? Well, maybe somebody witnessed a moment where he's like, no, I'm not doing that. And I always think, well, maybe that was a misinterpretation of what happened. For sure. And then once things stick, do people just start to see everything through that lens? I'm trying to be wishful thinking here. I realize that. Hmm. But You're not wrong, I, though. I, yeah. I fell for him. I mean, not like he's my favorite or anything, but I really enjoyed him in Dead to Me, where he played twins. Oh, yeah, that's one when I was stopped watching. Evil one. Why wow, you didn't like that? I didn't like that uh, start to that season. Oh I was God, like, I oh, are you kidding love me? I that show. I was like, <laughs> I loved it too. Up until that, I'm like, you've jumped the shark. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, but, the moral of the story is I don't want to believe anything negative about James Marston. Yeah. Well, let's stop talking negative about him then and do another one here. <laughs> do you like talking negative about this <laughs> A list actor slash writer and director? Hates being at events where the whole cast of his show is because it's always awkward when your girlfriend and your wife are in the same room. Oh, oh no. Cheater, cheater. Mm. Who's cheating? With his co-star assumption? A-list actor slash writer director. Oh. A-list actor, writer, director. And I would say A-list director slash writer, then actor. If it's Bill who we're led to believe, be led to believe. Nope. Does he write and direct? I don't think he's married, though. Brian oh. Reynolds? Nope. Mm. He's been more directy lately? Very much so. It's not and Ben creatory. Affleck. creatory. Creatory? <laughs> creatory. Yeah, that's such a good bakery item, a creatory. Uh, uh, that's, that's a French place where you eat craters. <laughs> oh, Man, I'm drawing. Let's see. Was uh, has he created anything this year? Oh yeah, that has been nominated. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Who could this be? Ooh, he created a TV show this year. Uh, yep. Streamer. He created mm, a streamer this Mike year. Mike White. <laughs> such a dumb also answer. created a streamer last year and created a streamer um, like a different a season of the same that. show. Uh, these are all different shows. Oh, and then also created another new series this year and another new series this year and another one last year and a couple of movies in there as well. Wow, he's what a busy fella? Be surprising. He even has time to cheat on his wife. This should be so obvious. Ryan dog. Seacrest. I'm just kidding. A list writer slash director. 
slash actor. So he's first a writer. Ryan Murphy. No. Well, he doesn't act. This guy acts. Hmm. It sounds, he sounds annoying. Well, he oh. sounds annoyingly talented. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Somebody Everything who's writing produced. successful shows and mm-hmm. producing and acting. Mm. Okay. Most of them under the same umbrella of a streamer. Oh. Jordan Peele. Okay. Under the same... So, like, Netflix? Like that, but not Netflix. Hulu? Not Hulu. <laughs> Hebo? We'll get there. Nope. Max? Nope. Well, that's Hebo. Um, FX. <laughs> Showtime? Stop well, actually... It. Showtime is now with Paramount Plus. Oh, who's created everything on Paramount oh, Plus? Oh God, what's his name? The Cowboy. The Cowboy Don. Huh? The Cowboy. Kevin Costner's boss. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Sheridan. Taylor Sheridan. Yes. We got uh, there. We'll go with that one. Yeah, exactly. Until we uh, all oh love boy. those shows on this <laughs> podcast. Um, this A-list uh, writer slash director and then actor as well hates being at events where the whole cast of his show is there because he hates and it's always awkward when your girlfriend and your wife are in the same room. Ooh. That would be kind of awkward. So the implication being, of course, somebody on the cast of uh, one of his shows, which again, he's got a couple of them between Yellowstone in 1883 and 1923 and Special Ops Lioness and uh, uh, the ones that star, man, wow. what's the one? Tulsa King is another one. Like there's, oh, there's so many. So much on that network is is all him. So, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So there you go. Uh, Although is... I wonder if you are a cheater like that, is it awkward, or are you just like, yeah, I got both of my ladies in the room and they don't even know it. <laughs> Part of the rush. Yeah, no. the I rush. I'm serious. <laughs> the rush of adultery. You get of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's do another Ew. one. <laughs> uh, we got to clean something up because uh, we had a mistake. We did? Ago. It happens. Oh, sorry. And that I like to me. come back. No, no, no. It was me. I like to come back and clean up because I hate to uh, have us thinking something uh, inaccurate about somebody. This former A minus list actress was uh, as nonstop in arguing with her husband about uh, wanting to uh, take on acting roles. She wants to I act all the time, and he doesn't want her to do anything. We okay, this said, sounds vaguely familiar. We went with um, Ryan Gosling and uh, Eva Mendez, correct? I yep. think we talked about that uh, a couple shows ago. Was it one that Dawn suggested? I think so. Ryan Reynolds? Oh, no. No, oh. not that side. Mm. I can't remember because it took us a it, long time to get there. It did. A minus list actress. Uh, we've seen her recently, like very recently. Slight spoiler alert if you haven't seen a new movie yet. And the new movie would be the... An old movie that's a new movie. Oh. Yeah, what is that, Dawn? Mm-mm. An old movie that's a musical that's now a mean musical girls. based on a movie. So oh. it's that one A minus list actress Tina F- who wants to act nonstop, but her husband says, uh-uh, don't take any acting roles. It's not Lindsay. Yes, it is. Oh, according oh, to okay. Bader Shamus. Yes. So basically, it sounds like she wants to get right back into it, wants to be acting all the time, working all the time. And he uh, oh, is man. not a fan of that and is basically it's creating uh, some nonstop arguing between the two. I hope oh, that's not true. That's on. not good. No, it's not. Mm, that's sad. It is. Let her do what she needs to do. But she she is... Yeah, I mean, she's, she's probably torn because she has some real opportunities right now, and it just so happens that she had a baby. Yeah, well, not only did she have a baby, but she's been away from Hollywood. She was sort of persona non grata for so long, mm-hmm. mostly because of her own doing. And now she's gotten to a place where we've achieved this sort of, like, middle place where people have widely probably forgotten a lot of the shenanigans she got up to totally. in Hollywood. I'm saying, you know, like the people who will green light things for so long, she, nobody would hire her to do anything because she just cost too much money. Right. Like the amount of insurance that a studio would have to carry to have her on set. But now that she's done these little projects bit by bit, she's built back back goodwill, you know, with that Netflix. I know is Netflix? this is, this is a, yep. a time for her to be able to get exactly. Back well, that's what game. I'm saying is yeah. like, it's an, it's an interesting place for her because but I can also see where she had this life with her husband that didn't involve her being an actress. That's right. And he's and like, he's probably I like, like you this I way. don't know if I want you to be like that, which is a horrible thing. But yeah. let's hope that she 
tells him what's what because it's her life. And it is. We would like her to, you know, I don't know. I would like her to be back in the saddle. I would too. For sure. Yeah. I mean, she did the one Christmas movie that I was, that I yeah, that watched. Was, did you like it? Uh, no, I was forced to watch yeah, it. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and again, I don't know if that's a selling point. It was point, okay. It was better it than I thought it would be. But it showed insurance companies that she could finish a project. That's true. Yeah, it was actually like, okay, she's in a happy place right now. Yeah. yeah. And a slight, like I said, spoiler alert. So if you don't want to hear about this, about Mean Girls, uh, shut off the radio for 10 seconds or the uh, podcast for 10 seconds. But of mm-hmm. course, uh, she does make a little appearance in Mean Girls. And uh, we've talked about that already because I think she got like half a million dollars to make that appearance. Well, that's, that's awesome. good. And it was literally a day of work. Good for her. So. That's uh, college tuition for her child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let's do another one. Yeah, maybe in, like, <laughs> when her child actually goes to college, it's <laughs> yeah, going to be like it's gonna be three $8 times billion. That much, dollars. Right. Let's head back to the Emmys. It was very unexpected to see this pairing on the red carpet, but it was pulled off due to the use of blackmail. Considering <gasps> the person doing the blackmail has a long history of it, they were obeyed. Who's blackmailing people on the red carpet? Somebody so, blackmailed somebody else. So they could be their date? Nope. Oh. Not necessarily. It was Meryl Streep. It was just a uh, an unexpected pairing on the red carpet. Oh, did we talk about an unexpected carpet? pairing? But I don't... they didn't, did they present together? Nope. Okay. And they didn't even walk the red carpet together. Oh. They were just seen together and took a photo on the red carpet together. Oh. What? Oof. Okay. Let's break this down. Mm-hmm. We've got the blackmailer. Who is whom? Described as? Uh, there's no descriptions in this one. It oh. is just simply uh, a very unexpected pairing on the red carpet was pulled off by the use of blackmail, considering the person doing the blackmailing has a long history of it. They were obeyed. Is this like a Sam Asgari? I don't know. Nope. I mean, he was taking pictures with somebody. Is it Chris Jenner? Nope. <laughs> it's another family. Okay. There's a family angle. People that we have talked about in these blinds quite a few times. Okay, Hadid's. family. Not Hadid's. This is in uh, uh, A-list celebrity slash actress. Mm. Long time permanent A-list celebrity slash actress. Oh, boy. Emphasis uh, on I... celebrity. Okay. And A-list and long time and permanent. Long-time permanent celebrity A-list. Mm-hmm. Oprah? Nope. Oh. Oof. Uh, long-time... And this is Emmys? Permanent. This was at the Emmy Awards. Okay. A-list celebrity. It's not... And the other person on the uh, other side of this is a... Um, a B-plus list actress slash singer celebrity offspring oh boy i'm i feel like i'm so confused at this point can you give us some more hints about the blackmailer can you um, say something else because i'm i'm blanking permanent here. a-list actress celebrity um oh the the a-list actress okay i was yes. thinking okay so it's an it's not megan markle a well i'll my next clue is going to be a literate for mm-hmm. those who uh, call and ask after the uh, after we do this, um, a literate starting uh, first name and last name starting with the same letter. Like Wendy Williams. A literate. <laughs> like I always Williams. think Wendy Williams. Yep. Yeah, I know, and I always not. do Camila Cabello. Um, a literate permanent A list celebrity slash actress. Remember reasons why people become, and I'll say A plus list. I mean, oh my gosh! Remember and one of the reasons why people Marvel. are nope nope tied to cel- I mean celebrity. Sometimes they're maybe tied to some of the biggest people in the world. Yeah, that means tied to the biggest people in the world is like the president, the pope, the king. Um, the king? Elvis. Priscilla Presley! And what did she do? She was with... Who'd she take a photo with? Oh, oh, come on. Priscilla Presley, Yes. We've seen this. A minus list actress slash singer slash celebrity offspring. Oh, not Riley Keough. Her offspring. 
Riley Keough and Priscilla were arm in arm and I took a photo together. I didn't notice that. Did yes. you know that, Con? I did. That's the answer to this one. All a, right, very so un- a very unexpected pairing on the red carpet was seeing Priscilla Presley because and Riley Keough. Because they're supposed Keough. to be at each other's throats. Exactly. Yeah, I was All like, well, the- that's good that they can come together and take photos. Yep, it was very <laughs> unexpected and it was pulled off according it to the- blackmail. It was pulled off according to the blind item because of blackmail. And also, considering the person doing the blackmailing, I would assume Priscilla was uh, has a long history of blackmailing. They were obeyed. Bury the lead. Priscilla Presley is a huge blackmailer. Who's she blackmailing and what is the blackmail? I don't know. <laughs> like she, you know, she's like, look, I'm yeah. the ex-wife of Elvis. It's weird <laughs> that, uh, oh, Daisy Jones in the six. That's yeah. why Riley, Riley was, there. was there. Yep. But Priscilla, just because? Well, Priscilla would have been there. Let's think this all the way through. Has she been connected with any? I mean, I don't know. She, of course, like, did there's they do Priscilla any live... the movie, there's but the... that's yeah, not but the that's Emmys. Not, that's not Emmys. Maybe she just went as a supporter for Riley. Mm. And that's the blackmail she's talking about. Okay. Like, oh, look, we're all on the same page. Hmm. Priscilla Presley says Elvis would have been very proud of Riley Keough after attending the Emmys together. They attended together. She was there supporting, apparently, Riley Keough. That's sweet. Oh, my gosh. And I so love that, like, Elvis would approve. It's like, okay. Would he? She he po- wouldn't even understand what's going on. No. Also, he's not here. She posted on Twitter, I love being with my beautiful granddaughter at the Emmys last night. What a talented young woman. Aww. So Yeah, or is that like like a, a thank you to Riley for dropping the lawsuit yeah. or the legal action Maybe. and coming up with a settlement for grandma? Great. Right? Who knows? Grandma. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad the family's Imagine talking. Imagine if your grandma yes. was Priscilla, Priscilla Presley. Presley. How do you know she was? Man? Oh. <laughs> you don't know me. My gosh. <laughs> Let's do My mom one. did kind of look like Anne Margaret back in the day. Did she? Yeah. Let's do this one here. The significant other of this A-list, mostly television actor who has starred in an iconic show made it very clear if he even touched a drink, she's leaving. And I don't think the relationship. I just mean, think it means the Emmys. Okay. So again, we're talking about the Emmys. The significant other of this A-list, mostly television actor who has starred in an iconic show made it very clear that if he even started drinking... She was gone. Was the iconic show nominated this year? No. Okay. The first person I thought of, but that's not, is Ben Affleck. No. Nope. Because there's no TV connection. Mm. Iconic uh, show. Do we know him to have a little... Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Dominic West, The Crown. Does he have three names? He does not have three names. Oh, it's not Jeremy Ellen White. It is not. Oh, that's a good guess, though. Um, I don't think it was Rosalia there. Hmm. I, I don't think it. she was there. No. no. Gosh. Okay. So, but it's somebody who I think of uh, likes icon- to have a little drinky drink. Iconic shows, a list mostly television oh. actor. Oh. Hmm. Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> yeah. It's not uh, a Friends cast member. Nope. Uh, not a, a friend. Cable TV although show. I'm sure he has friends. It was a cable TV show. Okay. So this was back a little bit. Like HBO? Earlier. No, cable. No, not pay cable. Oh. It was cable. I guess. Basic well, I guess cable. How, yeah, it was basic cable show. Like not pay cable. The uh, Walking Dead. Your right channel. Oh, FX. Nope. Oh no. Uh, oh, John that, Hamm. That's A and E. John Hamm AMC, or I believe. AMC. Yes. Uh, okay. And of course, that show was Mad Men. But uh, the answer to the blind is indeed John Hamm. Uh, apparently, his significant other said, "If you even think about drinking at this event or start, I am uh, absolutely going to be leaving." And these continue the or this continues the narrative that we've been hearing on the blind items that he has uh, been well, really diving headfirst into drinking. Yeah. Oh, so there were those blind items, but I also feel like there have been oh. stories about him not. drinking drinking mm. is that yeah. true yeah yeah he definitely has been i thought sober for a while he went well, he did decide to go to rehab and period. get sober in 2015 yeah. and maybe that is why you know it's one of those Long things where the blind item just you know yeah puts a little timer and says okay in five years we'll start calling him off for drinking again because he went to rehab five years ago or you know whatever the case may be let's hope that let's that's hope this isn't true crap but if not mm-hmm. get help john 
Well, so there you take go. Care of yourself. Mike, thank you for all those wonderful blind yes. items. They were great today. We had a blast, as we always do. Listeners, if you missed any of these blind items, download to your heart's content. We got a back catalog wherever you download podcasts. And we've got a website. Drop us some tips, some thoughts, some comments. Like and subscribe. Oh, our website is blindedbytheitem.com. Tell all your friends about it, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new crop of Blinded, Blinded by the Items. Bye.